Hello Cancer, welcome to your March 2014 room scope. My name is Amanda. As always, be sure to watch the video for your rising sign as well. That can give you some more information about other issues or other areas that you may be concerned with or dealing with uh, things in March. You can also schedule a private consultation with me. Those are $65 for a half an hour session. I do those on Skype. Just drop me a line at the email address below this video if you wanna set up an appointment. And um, sometimes it can take a few days for me to get back to you. I, I respond to those in the order that I receive them. And I usually try to give people 24 hours to get back to me to schedule things. So, you know, if it's been a few days, it's just because, you know, there were probably quite a few people in front of you and I'm trying to get them all scheduled. And then I will um, send you uh, the appointments I still have open um, when I get to your email. So I uh, just wanted to let everybody know that because some people freak out, I think, when I don't get back to them right away. I, I've, I did get your email. I've just there, you know, there's some people ahead of you. So um, just keep that in mind if you're scheduling. Let's dive into March here, Cancer, and see what's going on. Um, for you guys, your focus is going to be on finances and a new stream or a new source of money. For a lot of you, this will be a new job, a new business, uh, a new opportunity that will be very beneficial. And um, your focus will be on uh, turning a situation around. So if you've had some troubles with finances, if your finances have been in kind of dire straits, you're gonna be looking for ways to improve that. And organizations can be helpful in this, in March as well for that. So if you are applying for assistance for, from some government organization, or if you are, um, applying for a loan at a financial institution, um, consolidating loans, you know, uh, paying off debt, looking for help to, uh, some of you may need to file bankruptcy and start over. I mean, March is a good month for anything financial cancer for you to get your finances in order so that you can feel freed up and, and stop worrying about this. Because for a lot of you, it seems like, you know, maybe you've been out of work for a while. Maybe you've been, um, maybe you have a lot of debt and you've been concerned about this for quite some time. It looks like for some of you, this may have been um, causing health problems just from the stress of worrying about your finances, cancer. So your, your focus in March will be on turning the situation around, getting this under control, getting it to a place where you can breathe a sigh of relief. And if you work on that in March, Cancer, you are going to be able to uh, alleviate your, your financial woes if you have them or just move on to a new beneficial uh, opportunity when it comes to making money. Um, and it's almost like uh, you're being led to do this. So if you're in a job that you hate or in a job that's kind of sucking the life out of you or that's just very stressful, um, maybe this is a job that is invading your home life. Maybe you are on call or maybe it just takes you away from your family too much. Um, there's an opportunity in March that will be available for you to change that. A job that would have a better work home life balance so that you could see your family and spend more time. Um, some of you in March may be helping a family member or, or maybe be concerned about a family member who's been ill. Maybe there are medical bills that uh, they need help with. Some of you will be able to help your family members with this. Um, and, and that's going to make you feel good that you're able to help your family members with, um, help them out of a difficult situation. So, you know, of course, if you're in financial straits anyway, you're not able to help anyone, but I, I see you being happy with however the situation plays out. So um, for those of you who do need to help your family members because they've been ill or maybe maybe they just need somebody to come in and pay their bills and take care of their financial stuff because they're in the hospital or they're unable to do it themselves, um, that may be a way that this also plays out. It'll be different for all of you, but um, so that's the focus of March. Cancer for you, it's your finances, uh, turning a corner there, getting things under control. I think there's going to be a, a, something very joyous that happens for you, uh, Cancer, uh, in regards to this. It's a very karmic month for you and also for Pisces. That came up for Pisces as well. Um, a lot of karmic stuff in the sense that you're getting repaid, not you paying out, but positive things coming back to you. So remember when we were talking about um, 
you know, last year, a, a lot of months where you guys were really dealing with some heavy issues and just dealing with, you know, a lot of the lesson learning that we so often do. Uh, so much of our lives are spent in that lesson learning phase. Um, but now I, you're, you're going to start to see the payback for that. You're going to start to see the reward. Um, for those of you involved in, some of you, this financial reward could come through a legal case, a legal settlement, a legal settlement. So, um, if you're, some of you may see that payment come through or that settlement may finally come to a, you may come to a decision, uh, or may get a decision rendered on a, on a legal situation in March that will help you out really a lot for the big picture. You'll, it'll be the result that you're wanting. Uh, for those of you who have been uh, looking to repair or trying to repair a relationship, this is also well starred in March for you to really make strides or, or um, see a difference. And uh, the message that I'm getting is that, you know, whether this is a, a financial sort of repayment coming back to you or if this is like a relationship improving, don't push. Just kind of let things unfold at, at their own speed because if you push, you can damage the progress that's already been made in, in either sphere. So just kind of let things unfold. I actually think you'll be happy, very happy with, with what does unfold. So I don't see a lot of you pushing for someone even further. But if someone's making strides, if someone's trying, if, they're, if you're seeing a difference in the way that, in their behavior and the effort that they're putting into something, you know, um, appreciate that be appreciative of that don't just say oh well that's great that you're doing this but let's do this as well hold off on that second part because you may damage any progress that's already been made uh or if there's this you know if someone is offering you a settlement and if it's what you wanted take it i, I would not push back for more uh this is your karmic payout this is what you deserve this is all you're gonna get but i see you being pretty happy with the figure even if that's how this plays out, Cancer. Um, if you push for any more, though, you could damage this. So just keep that in mind, those of you with, with legal cases pending. Help that's coming to you in March or help that will be available to you in March has to do with luck. Being in the right place at the right time. March is definitely a time to play the lottery. If you do play the lottery, definitely, um, you know, buy those lottery tickets. Um, if you were thinking of taking a trip to the casino, March would be a prime month to do it. Don't take more than you have. Don't take all of this settlement money and go blow it. But, you know, allot yourself a certain amount. And um, I think you'll improve your financial situation even more. But um, a lot of luck of the unexpected kind. Some of you could come into some money in an unexpected way, or, or some of you may meet someone, those of you who are single, you single cancers, you may be in the right place at the right time to meet your soulmate in March. Um, I think this, is, this relationship, you know, may start off slowly, but it could definitely be important for those of you who meet someone in March. So, and this may be the last thing you're looking for, or it may be in a location that, you know, it's just completely unexpected. Maybe you're at the post office or something, uh, you know, just, just going about doing your errands and uh, you, you unexpectedly, unexpectedly uh, meet someone who's pretty super. So uh, keep that in mind. What can't be changed about March? is that you are going to get an offer of some sort of cancer. Some of you may get multiple offers, okay? So yes, you will be offered a settlement if you have a legal case or you will be offered uh, a, a date with someone you're pretty keen on uh, and someone who is pretty keen on you. Um, you know, if you're already coupled, you'll be offered the chance to uh, improve your relationship, make it even stronger. Um, it could be that your mate just buys you a gift um, just for the hell of it or, or, or does a very nice, there's a very nice gesture um, that makes you very happy. Um, 
uh, for those of you who are looking for a job or, or looking to get out of a, a nasty situation, you'll be offered um, a new job opportunity or you'll be offered a loan or you'll be offered, you know, a consolidation for your, for your school debts, a way to, or, or any debt that you have, credit card debt, school loans, whatever you have that's really kind of been dragging you down financially, you'll be offered a way out of this. People are going to make their resources available to you in March, Cancer. Uh, especially financially, but also emotionally. So I, I see you being, March being a very fulfilling month for you, Cancer, as far as seeing progress, seeing a change, seeing voids being filled. Because um, again, you're getting back karmically what you've what you've put in what what was what has drained you the, these lessons and things these kind of rough times that you've been through march is kind of the start of you seeing uh things coming back to you and you're going to see people who have done you wrong negative people get theirs and i'm not saying cancer that you know you're gonna be like told you so but a lot of you will be like told you so um i mean these are people who do not either understand or appreciate the laws of karma and and really you know they're getting back what they're just desserts you are and so are the people around you so karma again you getting what, back what you deserve and cancer for the most of you especially those who watch this who are interested in enlightenment who are um treating people the way that they want to be treated, this will be a positive payback. If you've been a bad cancer, if you've been a more crabby crab, it's probably gonna be more negative, you know? It, it just, what you get, what you put out, you get back three times. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, you're gonna see this with other people around you too, people who have wronged you, have treated you bad, who have blocked your progress, have blocked your soul's growth, those people are going to start getting back their negative stuff. And you know what? On the one hand, you will probably be like told you so. But when you see like all of the, you're probably going to feel sorry. For, maybe you'll, some of you may feel sorry for somebody you never thought you would feel sorry for in March, Cancer. Um, just because of all the difficulties they're going through finances relationships secrets coming out affairs things like that you know and it's intuitively this is all stuff that you knew was gonna happen um for those of you who've been crabby crabs you know this could be stuff coming back on you you know you could you could uh, miss out on a chance to change a, 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 a bad situation you could um, your home could be in uh, danger. Um, again, this is this is if you've treated people nastily. You know, this is not for the lot of you. This is not for most of you. This is for those few who, because they're a bad, they're a bad in every sign, unfortunately. Um, so, I mean, the best thing you can do to turn this around is to admit your mistake and make any restitutions necessary you know if you know that you have hurt someone if you know that you have been unnecessarily or or unreasonably cruel or mean to someone and cancer this is, would be very unusual um for cancer cancer is normally not like this but you know the best way to kind of avoid any further issues is to turn this around do your best to 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 reconcile um and those of you who have had issues in your family, if you've had, if there has been infighting among other members of your family, maybe involving secrets, involving gossip, um, involving people who have been selfish, and maybe you had some people in your family who just haven't been speaking to each other for for a long time, um, it's very possible that in March this could um, be improved. Okay, there could be you could get news that these people have reconciled or you know they've been able to move on past this um that's also a way this can work um but a lot of you i feel like this will just be you'll be getting news about bad things happening to people who have been bad to you or bad to people that you love and um while you'll do your best to not say I told you so, there will be an element of satisfaction. But again, I do see you kind of feeling, you know, 
I'm sorry this is happening to you, but this is what happens when you treat people the way that you've treated people. So um, all in all, Cancer, I, I mean, I see a really great month for you in March. Um, again, if you've been the kind of person that I know most of you Cancers to be, it's going to be very positive and just... But again, karmic for you and for the other people around you, especially those who have maybe not been so nice to you, Cancer. So um, I see you seeing the results, the karmic results of what happens, both in your own life and uh, in the lives of people around you. So uh, good luck in March, and um, I hope that was helpful, and I will see you again in April.